Maru Priya and I am a physics teacher and today I am going to present topic force and part problem. Since the problem is related to force and part, it means the problem is involving force as well as part. Let me show you diagrammatically. Let us suppose I am showing a car and I am representing force by a dot. I am connecting force and car together. Let me connect them. Okay. This car is applying force on the ground in the downward direction. How much force it can apply to the ground? Equal to its weight. So this car is applying force on the ground equal to its weight. This weight is acting vertically downwards. The ground is experiencing a force due to car. So in a reaction, the ground is also exerting force on the car in the upward direction. That force is represented by reaction force R1. We have simply used Newton's third law. Newton's third law. To each and every reaction, there is equal and opposite reaction. These two forces are equal and opposite. In a similar way, I will show for force. The hose is exerting force on the ground in downward direction equal to its weight. Let me show the weight of the hose is acting vertically downwards. Weight W2. The ground is also exerting force on the force in the upward direction. That will be presented by reaction force R2. R1 and R2 are reaction forces and W1 and W2 are weights. Now, these two are also balanced. These two forces are equal and opposite. Now, when the horse is moving forward, that means the horse is exerting force on the car in the forward direction. And let me represent that force by force F. This force is pulling the car in this direction by force F. Okay. In similar way, we can say that if force is exerting force on the car in the forward direction, then the car will also pull this, this force in the backward direction with the same force F according to Newton's third law. These two forces will be equal and opposite. The force with which force is exerting force on the car will be equal to the force exerted by car on the horse. Now see, these two forces are equal and opposite. These two forces are also equal and opposite. These two forces are also equal and opposite. This means all these forces are balanced. And for balanced forces, there is no motion. So how can we know that motion is due to which type of force? Which force is responsible for the motion of the force and cart. Let me show the ground. See, this, these wheels of the car are moving on the ground. Okay? These wheels and the ground are in contact with each other. We know that there are two conditions of friction forces. Two bodies should be in contact. In the second condition, one body should move over the other body or one body should try to move over the other body. So, the wheels are moving on the ground and also they are in contact. So, friction force will act between the wheel and the ground. Motion is towards the right. So, friction force will act towards the left side. Okay. Now, there is something remaining in this. What is remaining? The, the horse is exerting force on the ground in opposite direction. In backward direction, this force is exerting force on the ground. Let me denote it by force F1. This force F1 is making an angle theta with this horizontal. This horizontal, this is ground. And the force F is F1 
is making an angle theta with the ground. Okay. If this force is exerting force on the ground in backward direction, then according to Newton's third law, what will happen? The ground is also going to apply force on this force in the forward direction, reaction force R. Oh, shit. 